Everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to edit the Christmas planner. What you do is you first open the Christmas planner in PowerPoint and there's three covers. One, two, like one, one, two, three. There's three covers here and there's a belongs to page. And then each page has linking tabs and the way to edit the tabs is to go to view, slide master, and now we can edit the tabs. So go to the slide four and there goes all the tabs. And the way to edit the tabs is there's an invisible layer that's linked. So in order to access the invisible layer, you click on it and you can go to insert link. And then you can actually pick which um, link you want this link to. So let's let's like change it to 24 and let's edit the text. So it'll slide down the invisible link and then double click the text and go to test and just call it test and then put the invisible link back by clicking on it and dragging it back. And that's how you change a link. And then when you save it, you, you can you say you actually have to save it, you know, at, in a PC in order to get the links um, working. Because if you save it as a Mac after a power after in PowerPoint, it won't work. So in order to uh, fix that, you have to open it in Keynote. So I actually gave a Keynote version too for you to use it for Keynote to open it with a Mac. So when you say save this, you know, with the PC, the links will work. But if you save it as a Mac again, the links will not work. So again, you have to open it with a, a, um, a Keynote. So you open this PowerPoint file in Keynote, and I actually gave a Keynote file that's already done for you. So you just have to save the Keynote file as a PDF in order to save it if you have a Mac. Well, then when you're happy with the, all the links, and maybe you wanted to change the cover and call it, you know, something else, you know, you can change the cover. like right here so you can like edit, edit all the text and all, all that you know and how you want so you take this layer away you can edit it so maybe you want to call it my Christmas planner and put this back it's like a, a low texture then you go to view and then I mean slide master and then go to close master so now it's called my Christmas planner and then every single page has test and it links to a different you know page than what it did before. So that's how you edit the Christmas planner. If you have any questions, please email me at Becky at PLRBeach.com. Well have a great day. Goodbye!